What's up guys? This is going to be my review of the Propel Atom 1.0 Micro Drone. I believe that's what they're calling this one. This is a little nano quadcopter with the tri-blades on it. Really like the tri-blades. Definitely a nice touch for a nano. Hadn't seen that on a nano. Haven't even seen it on many full-size quads. Had a difficult time finding this one, but once I did find this one, I really, really enjoy this one. At first glance at this one, I thought it was a CX-10 kind of knockoff with the tri-blades on it, but then once you flip it over, it has a completely different body style than the CX-10. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the unbox video, but the candy apple red color is really sharp. All kidding aside, the candy apple red color really does look amazing in the air. I love the video of this one flying around, and I think with the color of this one, it just really pops. It's a great flyer. It's a little nano quad, obviously. It's got three different rates on it. I believe in the unbox video, I said it had two, but that's what it said on the box. But come to find out, this one does have three rates on it, a low, a medium, and a high. And the high rate is excellent on this one. It can definitely fight the elements, flying it outside. It's winter time outside and I've been flying this one in some windy conditions. Doesn't seem to have a problem, although one day when there were large gusts of wind, I did get blown away in this one, but obviously I was able to find it again. Overall, it's a really great flyer. It's a really reliable flyer, and it flies very smooth in the air. I guess that's the best way to describe this one. I don't know if it's the tri-blades, probably has something to do with the flight controller too. Maybe the combination of the two, but this one definitely flies around really smooth. And like I said, I really enjoy watching this one fly because of the candy apple red color. I'm saying it a million times again, but I just really, you know, red's not even my favorite color, but this candy apple red color of this quad is just really sharp so i might i might be ordering uh, more candy apple red color quads in the future if they are available because apparently i have some sort of weird fixation with this color i can't stop saying it i'm not going to say it anymore i'm done it's got a pretty sweet controller pretty standard nano size but definitely not your standard nano controller this one has the propel logo on it. It also has the Atom logo from this particular quadcopter. This one also will fly three channel like a RC helicopter instead of you know your standard quadcopter. I haven't flown it that way. I don't intend to fly it that way but it is a nice option to have if you're new and just starting out. This one does really great flips. It flips in every direction. Just have to depress the right stick when you're in the air and then you get a B noise and then you can give it input in whichever direction you want to do the flip in. One thing I will say about the flip button is I've had a few occasions where it seems to get stuck and then it just kind of keeps beeping and then it flips a number of times but then it usually gets itself out of it so not a huge issue but something to be aware of. Let's talk charging time to flight time. This one, you get about three to four minutes of flight time out of this. You get a long, over a minute long LVC warning. Once the LVC warning kicks in, you will quickly lose your ability to do the flips, but it still seems to fly with a lot of power even while the LVC warning is going on. So that's definitely a good feature. Also, the charging time on this is about 30 minutes. So not too bad, three to four minutes of flight time to 30 minutes of charging time. Fairly standard for a Nano, so no complaints there. This one seems to fly really great. Very stable flyer. I've knocked it into a few things, flying it around in the house, and it's kind of hard to knock it out of the air as long as you don't slam into anything really hard. Flown into the wall a little bit, stays in the air, flying into some random objects around the house. It wants to stay in the air. I've even flown it into myself, and it basically just wants to stay in the air. Kind of a tough one to crash, but when you do crash it, it's very durable. I've had a few crashes with it, none worse for the wear. The candy apple red coating is still looking sharp on this one. So definitely a durable quadcopter. This makes it great for beginners. Between the three channel mode, it flies so well, it flies very stable. It stays in the air when you knock into a few things. 
and it's durable, so definitely a good beginner quad. And the fact that it's a nano quad and you can basically fly it anywhere, definitely a good one for beginners. But if you have experience and you get it up in the high rates, this one is definitely fun to fly. There's just something fun about this one. Can't really put my finger on it. You know, it doesn't have any of the features that a lot of these other quads do, like some of them will have the insane yaw rate, some of them will have, you know, the constant flip mode. This one on the surface is just your basic nano quad, but it flies so great. I can't really put my finger on what it is about it, but this one's just a great flyer, and I think that's, that's what it is. It's just really fun to fly, really smooth in the air, flies very stable really like it so like i said hats off to propel you got a great product here hopefully you guys can find this somewhere i'm definitely going to be checking out some more propel products in the future since i like this one so much and they have a lot of other quads and rc helicopters that come in candy apple red so we all know i'm a fan of the candy apple red i'm gonna check them out so i guess that's all i got to say about the propel adam 1.0 micro drone propel's got a winner here go check it out hopefully you can find it they sell their products at brookstone and like i said that academy sports website that's where i got this one from highly recommend ordering through them it was fast shipping no problems great experience don't hesitate to order from them please if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel I have plenty of previous reviews if you guys want to check those out. If I missed anything with the Propel Adam, please hit me up in the comments below. I thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Happy flying, everyone.